All right, I am going to make another toilet paper roll mini booklet. And so it takes nine toilet paper rolls. So six that I've squished down between books. Um, I just squish them between books. Some people like get them wet to make and squish them down. I don't really feel like that's necessary. Um, so I just squish them down under a book for a couple days. And then three more. And then the three more, I just cut, you just cut the sides barely. So it gives you two cards, and then these are the cards that go, will be the tags that go inside the pocket. You see what I'm saying? So technically it's nine toilet paper rolls, six for the outside pockets, and then um, three cut into six for the tags. So the first step is I'm going to paint white gesso on both sides. All right, I painted both sides with white gesso. And then if I didn't mention it before, I am doing a shell theme on this little booklet. I just got back from Sanibel and I had a great time and I wanna um, add this, a couple shell charms to the tip of the tags. And so this is gonna be a shell theme. So now I'm gonna go and decoupage on each side um, these nautical themed napkins I picked up at uh, Tuesday morning. So remember when you decoupage napkins, you need to pull it apart until you're only at one thin layer. And then you put glue on this, and then you also put glue over the napkin um, and decoupage it on. The You wanna use a lot of glue because that will make the napkin transparent. And I definitely learned the hard way. You can't use all like, most napkins are like two or three layers, sometimes even four layers you need to peel it back to the base layer um, otherwise it will not be opaque and you want it to be opaque so that's my next step all right these are the toilet paper um roll um toilet paper rolls yeah decoupage with napkins i just wanted to show you those real quick and then i also have the flat ones the tags, the ones that will go inside. I'm gonna put those to the side. So this is gonna be a book of six. I am gonna run these through my sewing machine real quick. I got tan thread in there. I just want to seal the end. So if you don't have a sewing machine um, to seal the end, you know, you can just glue the end or you can like fold a piece of paper um, to like bind it, you know, like glue a piece of folded paper. I've seen people do that before, but since I have a sewing machine, I'm going to go ahead and, um, flip it through the sewing machine real quick and I will show you when I'm done. All right. I just sewed them on one long line, so I am going to flip them off. It's just easier. Um, and I don't care if there's hanging threads, so let's see. There you go. Just a simple stitch on both sides. And all right, so these are done. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my junk journal from our Sanibel trip. And then all the scraps that I don't use, I'm gonna use those as focal points for this book. So this book is gonna be like for my Sanibel trip. And so um, if you're curious about my Sanibel trip on my main channel, 80s Toy Hunter, I do have vlogs posted from that trip. And every week I'm posting a shelling video. I recorded a lot when I was walking along the beach picking up shells. So if you're interested at that, check out my main channel. Otherwise, I am going to get started on this junk journal. Good morning. Here is my finished toilet paper roll book um, from our Sanibel trip. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. I did go a little heavy handed with the distress spray. I kind of regret that. Next time, I'm not gonna spray directly. I'm going to spray it on a glass plate and then rub it around that way because um, as you can see like on the back, I, it just went too dark. So you can barely see the image on some of the photos. I do like how it makes it look older because this photo right here is a playing card um, and it was pure white because, so on that Sanibel trip, I bought a deck of playing cards that were all had pictures of shells and it's a beautiful deck. I actually copied it on my printer. My printer is a printer slash copy machine slash scanner. I love it. And so I just scanned in all these images and printed them out so that way I can keep my original deck and then use these images over and over again. So the base 
is a you know shell themed napkin and then I decoupage the card on it and then I use the distress ink and then you can also tell it's textured I ran it through my cuddle bug um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out I just I wish the distressed ink was slightly lighter I'm still learning how to use the sprays um, honestly the sprays can be overpowering so definitely spray them on something else first so anyway um, and then of course I did the Coptic stitch binding I watched Lori Marie Jenkins video again I still made a mistake uh, some people get Coptic stitch binding right off the bat me it's still I still make mistakes but um, I'm just missed the stitch here it's fine it still stays closed together and I didn't feel like tearing it out and starting over it were it stays together it's just I'm missing one stitch so flip it open oh and then each car that comes out I just um, attached a shell from the trip with as a little dangle and then each card has a playing card on it front and back no particular order I didn't like try to keep it like in uh, card order or anything there's there was tons of cards so each card had a different shell there was no repeats of shells and so what is that 52 is it 52 or 54 cards in a deck um, that's a lot of shell uh, pictures to pick from so I just went through and picked out my favorites I have a bunch left over I kind of feel like I'm gonna make several of these um, try it again maybe less distressed ink next time but is that not awesome and then the shells attached cute little souvenir from the trip and can you tell the texture um, what I liked about running through the cuddle bug is you know when you decoupage stuff it gets a little warped you glue glue dries it makes everything a little warped but once I ran it through the shot the cuddle bug look how flat it is now um, it completely flats in my book and I love that I love that it's not it doesn't look warped anymore it looks great so even if you can't see the texture that much running the cardboard through the cuddle bug <clears throat> really helped straighten it out look at that that's the sea urchin I love that one so I absolutely am loving this I have enough toilet paper rolls for another book so actually I think the next one I'll do is um, Halloween I found some Halloween napkins and Halloween's only two months away so I'm gonna start on Halloween projects look at that so all I did was tie it with some string and then added a couple extra knots still working on my dangles I don't I know I could have added beads or something else but I just wanted the seashell because it is actually from this trip um, and then that's what it'll look like sitting on my shelf with all these little dangles right there so you can do it like that anyway I love it I love it this is just if you think about this this is all just toilet paper rolls that would have been thrown away it is awesome turning trash to treasure and it's I mean listen there's like no expense in this well except for like you know the paper and ink when I printed this out but other than that this is like the best cheap souvenir in the entire world doesn't this look like something you would like buy at like a fancy boutique yep made it love it thank you so much for watching um, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because I will definitely be having lots more projects thanks for watching